Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. We're repairing this uh, Nissan Skyline over here. And uh, there's a fair bit of wrong with this car. A fair bit wrong. Um, let's see, we've got all of the stuff we need to replace and still parts that we haven't discovered yet. We have to replace all the body parts or repair them, change the oil, all the fluids. Uh, so yeah, there's quite a lot of things to do, but let's see. We've taken off the oil pan last time and we've checked that the cylinders and such are all in pretty good conditions. I'm going to take off the starter just in case. No, that's good. I think it's going to be the uh, gearbox uh, that's going to have some problems because the alternator seems to be great. Uh, all of this stuff seems to be okay. The manifold seems all right. So yeah, it's. I think it's gonna be the gearbox. Oh wait, oh no, that's the uh, that's the actual body that's rusting. Okay. Oh yeah, also this, of course, because this is what we were actually doing last time, haven't we? We've been taking this stuff off. You know, I, I've noticed. Uh, I've noticed something. There's the rear drive axle. Um, in games like this, I call all the items stuff, and in games where I have people, I just call them the guy, this guy, that guy, <laughs> even if they're police vehicles or something, I'm gonna send that guy there. Uh, yeah. Alright, sport tire. That stuff goes off. Again, stuff. <laughs> Oh, well, okay. Uh, actually, we can take the rear drive axle out without getting any of this off. It seems to be slightly... Well, actually, you know what? That wheel hub bearing seems to be... Yeah, not in a good... No, I didn't want the housing. See, this time it didn't work. Housing. Uh, so we need the bearing... So that thing. Is this one good? I think this one isn't good either. Yep, there you go. Alright. So I think that's mostly it here. It might actually be all of it. Yep, that's all of it. So uh, we just buy the stuff. Alright. Throttle. Intake manifold. It's quite expensive. I wish I could repair all this stuff. Let me actually see if I could. We do have uh, we do have some. Oh no, we need yeah, we do have three skill points. But let's see. Also, the battery is now done. Let's see if it's any good. Yeah, it is 100% nice. So this is basically a repair thing for batteries. Oh look at all this stuff we can repair. Oh. But, uh, this is not what we want to repair, because this car needs 71% at least. So, I wish you could sort this out. Uh, sort this. Yeah, see, the starter we can't repair. This is all level 4, so never mind. We can't do this just yet. Oh, well. We'll just buy new stuff. Uh, engine head cover. <clears throat> yeah, see, this is quite expensive. We're, uh, yeah... Three coils, so yeah, that's gonna be spark plugs, radiator fan. I hope we have enough money for all of it. Belt tensioner. Serpentine belt. Oh, that's quite cheap. Oil filter. Rear drive axle, two of them. Wheel hub bearing, two of them. Alright, and now electronic stuff. Three ignition coils and four spark plugs. Okay, so we have plenty of money still. That's good. Right. Let's uh, put things back together then. There's an oil filter. And I mean, you know, normally uh, if you were changing the oil yourself, not at a not at a shop, I don't think they usually do that. But if you were changing the oil and filters, 
Uh, you usually want, if at all possible, if your car is bottom, um, if the filter goes up from the bottom like this, then it's nice to actually pour some of the fresh oil into the filter to pre-fill it. Uh, just so that when you start the car with the new oil in it, uh, it gets oil pressure as soon as possible. Because otherwise, it has to pull the oil from the sump first, and then pump it into the filter, through the filter, and then up to the camshafts and everything. So, uh, you know, that's usually a good idea. And next time, like I said, I'll be changing oil, oil myself, because... God damn, it's way too expensive to actually do it in the mechanic shop uh, when I can just buy everything for much cheaper. Uh, so instead of 130 euros and having to bring my car there and leaving it there for like an hour, uh, after I buy the tools and I just need the filters and oil, I think it's going to be like 35 euros for the change and a little bit of my time. So I think that's a much better deal. Uh, right. But yeah, I'll definitely be pre-filling the oil filter. Um, I'm not exactly sure where the oil filter is on my car. <laughs> so if it's... Oh yeah, actually this one is positioned like this. So this... I take it back. This one would be uh, fairly impossible to do without making a huge mess. So unfortunately in these cases you just can't do it. But if it screws up from the bottom up, then that's perfect. And I hope my car's filter screws up from the bottom and I do believe it does but I'm not entirely sure anyway all right we also have the charged battery so that's nice so yeah that's that's cool it's a cheap tool that is basically a repair tool for batteries you bring them up to back to a hundred percent some nice new spark plugs except the old ones <laughs> Which we'll be putting in, because, you know, 75%, there you go. No, I don't want that. I want that. And the ignition coils. So, new ignition coils on old spark plugs. And then some old ignition coils on new spark plugs. That's, uh, that's brilliant. Okay, put the battery in there as well. Nice. Uh, put the cam gear on so we can start doing the timing stuff. A new serpentine belt. Actually, it's not new, but it's okay. Right, little roller. And then the cover. What is that little thing there? This, oh, it's another idler roller. Okay. <clears throat> There's a power steering pump. A new one. So it's not going to go, <laughs> even though today they're usually uh, electric. And I'm much happier for it, to be honest. It feels nicer, I feel. And can be adjusted, of course, as well. And, you know, electric motors, not, not a lot to go wrong there, really. Whereas with hydraulics, eh, I mean... They're pretty reliable, to be honest, but I feel like more can go wrong with uh, hydraulics than with uh, just an electric motor. Um, why can't we put this cover on? Eh, what else are we missing? Coils cover, intake manifold, throttle. So... Um, Okay. Oh, because I'm missing that one cap over there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there we go. Lovely new cover. And once again, if you're doing a lot of this stuff, uh, screwing and unscrewing, you should do it in a star fashion. Uh, so, you know, screw this one in, screw this one in, this one, this one, this one, this one. You know, not all the way, of course. You want to do that at the end. Coils cover. We need a new one. I'm assuming this is going to be here and not at the electronics shop. Yeah. Right. 
put that back. More bolts, interesting. Because it's just a cover. And now comes the manifold and the throttle. There we go. Throttle body. Okay. What else is missing? That's all there. Now we just need to refill stuff. And of course, various body parts and so on and so forth. So coolant goes in. I like the fact that you can actually see the reflection in the manifold there and the exhaust of the uh, of the coolant. That's pretty cool. That's almost full, but hey, there you go. Well, that was three dollars <laughs> for credits. <clears throat> Very nice. Okay. It's perfect. And the oil, of course. Nice. Okay. That's all done, plus the brakes, of course. <clears throat> No, I did not want to do that. I just wanted to unscrew the cap. There we go. Obviously, then we'll, we, we would have to bleed the brakes and such, but fortunately, we don't have to do that in the game. <laughs> All right. I think that's mostly it. Now it just needs a lot of body parts. So, needs a hood. Front left fender, front right bumper, left headlight, right headlight. Uh, probably needs this as well. All of this. Uh, but we'll see. So body shop. So this is the... Uh, what was that? Ribson Starline. Oh yeah, this one, obviously. So hood. Oh, expensive stuff. What? This is the front? That's a weird looking front for this thing. Okay. Let's see. So there's the headlights. There's the bumper. Okay, that looks kind of different than what it was, but okay. Um, right, it'll also need a license plate, it seems. There's the hood, and the fender. Okay, I'm assuming it's gonna want the other stuff as well. Oh uh, yeah, right door, window, front right fender. Well, lots of stuff. Left side mirror as well. Really? What's wrong with it? All of that stuff needs to go, and that stuff needs to go. This cannot be replaced. You need probably like welding or something. Trunk? Yep. What about the bumper? Uh, probably, yeah. Taillights seem to be okay. Uh, other taillights seem to be missing. Let's take all of that out. I'll take that as well. I think that needs a replacement. Wow. Do we have enough money for this? Kind of worried now. A little bit. This is expensive stuff. Uh oh. Uh oh. No. Can we go into the negative? Because right now. <sighs> Shoot. See, that is exactly, <clears throat> excuse me, why I did not want to buy so much stuff. That needs replacing as well. Uh, the expansion and, and the repair thing really is not paying for itself right now. Uh, 
I think we'll have to take another car in the meantime. I really shouldn't have... I really should not have put um, <clears throat> all my money into this right now. Oh man. That sucks. Oh, we'll need a right side mirror as well. No, I can't. No, not that. Ah, okay. This sucks. Can I take like a loan or something? Community cars, body shop. Nope. You can't. Orders. Nope. Photo shopping list options. Map. Nope. Uh, can I just sell stuff? I mean, that's not gonna really get me enough. I mean, we can sell this as well. This is 56, but they want it new. I know I could, uh, you know, uh, repair that, but, well, there you go. Mm-hmm. Give me credits. That's what I need. Credits, please. Well, XP is nice as well. <clears throat> Bonus cases, bonus, uh, something. Wait a second, have we figured out what that is? I don't know what that is. I mean, 17. More bonus cases, more bonus that. Um, the only problem is, you, you have to wait until the card slowly moves around. See, you can't click on it. Otherwise, more money, come on. Lots of bonus XP, that's quite nice. Okay, so that's that. Um, let's sell that. Okay. Well, we do have a bit of money, but not enough. So I'm going to have to take some other car in the meantime. Loud on accelerating. The filters need to be replaced. Let's take that because it seems to be easy. Holy sh... <laughs> what happened? Damn. Can also get extra XP. So let's get all the XP first. But yeah, that's exactly what I was hoping would not happen when uh, buying the expansion for the repair table. And the repair table really hasn't paid for itself so far. I was hoping it would allow us to repair a lot more right now, but we just need a lot of um, points for that. A lot of skill points. More XP, more! Okay, pression tester. Okay. Obd scanner. OBD 500 Pro. That's all good. Oh, that's an annoying beep. Um, and fuel pressure. <clears throat> okay. Jeez. All right. So we're done with that. So it just wants the filters, and that's it. Okay, uh, we need to let's uh, take the filter off first. Oh yeah, I need to take the clips off first, right? Oh no, it actually be on there. 
What? What now? Is there more clips? Oh, I didn't take that clip off. Okay, so we're buying that. And a fuel filter. And an oil filter. And that's about it, right? Oh, look at that. That's quite nice. That would be quite hot here. <laughs> okay. So, we need this, which is quite cheap. Of course, we're also not going to get a lot of money from it, but, well, better than this than nothing. Uh, let's also drain the oil. <clears throat> oh, well, there's quite a lot of oil here. Oh yeah, we have to remove it first. And then replace it with a new one. Alright. Hopefully this will give us a little bit more than just peanuts. There's a fuel filter and a new air filter. And it's kind of funny because if I tried, you know, if I put three clips on and then tried to uh, finish the order, it would say it's missing a clip. Car cannot start. Well, I wouldn't say car cannot start, but I find it kind of funny. There you go. And then, of course, we have to add the oil. So we barely spent any money on this, which is good. And we can finish the order. There we go. Oh, that was it. That was not very good. Brake system needs fixing. Oil and filter. Car is loud. Maybe it's only giving me stuff that I can actually afford to uh, fix. I don't know. <clears throat> so let's see. How much more? Well, uh, yeah, we need uh, a lot of expensive stuff on this. We've done all this. Change oil. We've done that. We've done that. We just need front license plate. Front right fender. Yeah, lots of stuff here still. I don't think we have the money just yet. But we're getting there. Let's see if there's anything else we could just repair and sell it for more. No. Yeah, this kind of sucks, really. You can only rep repair certain things and you don't get that much for it anyway. And it's a huge investment. I mean, <clears throat> the thing is, the investment really, the huge investment was the expanded workshop, uh, to be honest. Um, salvaging. Brake lathe, that's cool. Damaged brake discs. Remove, swap, and build whole engines, that's cool. <clears throat> Fix body panels. Ah, see, that would be nice. Full body repairs. Okay, for now, we just gotta make some more money. Running gear faults, car is loud. Hmm. Yeah, let's take that one. Why not? Hmm. It doesn't have any airbags. It's quite interesting. Also suspension. Uh, we could just drive it, to be honest. Uh, yeah, let's do that first. So we get all the suspension and stuff. Test track. And we'll go to the racetrack and such later with, with some of our cars. Yeah! It's also kinda... Oh, it's gonna blow off valve. Power! Oh, 
Salem drives pretty well. All right. Give me something good. All the suspension stuff that we need to replace. And hopefully it's not too expensive, because we don't have a lot of money. 10% for the drive. Oh, okay, so that's it. So, let's get it on the lifters, and see what's what. Does it want anything else done? Uh, car is loud, so just the mufflers, and that, and... Oh, not discovered, huh? Fifty-eight percent, sixty-one percent, sixty-five percent. Okay, <clears throat> it's a red forest. Let's see. It's just gonna be the running gear, so it's not gonna be anything here. But like I said, it's XP, so it's pretty nice. To do this every time. For every car. That wasn't very good, but it was adequate, I guess. Forty, thirty, sixty, seventy. 80, 90, 100%. Alright, all that stuff is good. Unfortunately, more cranking. <laughs> okay. Uh, so that was that. And we still don't know what's wrong with these parts. Uh, it's probably something in the gearbox. or We'll see. Actually, not the gearbox. Um, probably just the suspension. Probably bushings. Uh, probably bushings. All right. That's a really weird logo. Okay, so let's get that out of the way. WD-40. Right. Oh yeah, gotta add that. Unfortunately, that's kind of an expensive part. Okay, everything else looks good there. Oh. This stuff looks alright. And we've got this exhaust pipe, because the car is loud. And the muffler. It's not gonna be that cheap. Ah, here's the rear shock absorber cap. And also... This knuckle housing. Yeah, let's see. All of this stuff will have to come out, actually. A bit unfortunate, but there you go. And hopefully when we uh, finish that Nissan, it's gonna be a lot of money. Do I really have to take everything apart? Yes, I do, it seems. I do. I wish it was this easy to get to unstuck bolts with just WD-40. That'd be great. That bushing seems to be okay. Rear suspension arm is just fine. Let me hear. Okay, so every time you click on it, okay. I thought the sound was repeating, but it's not. That needs to go. The suspension arm needs to go. And then this needs to go. And then the upper arm needs to go. Alright, now we can finally take this off. Actually, we can't, because there's something else. There's bushing. Oh, jeez, we, we do have to take everything off. Suspension arm. 
There we go. Now the bushing. And now this. There we go. Holy moly. Uh, have we found everything now? I believe we have. Let's see. Yes, we have. Okay. So let's go. Can we repair any of it? The answer is no! Well, nothing that really matters, because all of this stuff is okay. <laughs> that sucks. Oh yeah, uh, not this one, but the front drive axle. Exhaust pipe. Rear muffler. Expensive. And two of the... No, just one housing. And that's it. Still not a lot of money we have. Bit annoying, but oh well. Anyway, I hope you're enjoying this. I really do, because well, I'm having fun playing it. It's very relaxing. It's very satisfying when you find things that are wrong and replace them or repair them. And uh, I will see you next time. So have a good one, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.